welcome back to Canarium. Last time we were trying to chop down these plants, but it doesn't really work because they're poisonous. And they'll kill you if you try and chop them down. Wah. So I'm thinking that I might have to burn them in some way because there's some burnt ones back there. And it looks like these ones just kind of like grew in front of it. So I am going to try and move that light if I can. I hope I can. I think I can. The little train that could. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Yeah. No, I know I can. Come on, there's got to be something around here. Come on, I need like a little cog or something to turn. Come on, baby. Oh, what do we have here? Pay dirt, baby. Round and round a mulberry bush. Here we go. The Eye of Sauron. Get out of my way. Didn't even have to chop it down. Sweet! Love when things do the work for me. Those look like the alien eggs. What the hell are they doing here? This reminds me of two movies. Alien and The Ruin. The Ruin was about, like, flesh-eating plants that lived in Mayan temples. And they were... It, it kind of ran in a similar theme to this game. Because they were like these alien species that were here before the humans and they ate humans but if they were here before the humans how were they eating humans doesn't make any sense man I don't like that I don't oh <laughs> I thought that was a stick man why would a stick man be scaring me what the hell is oh lizard on a rock cool hey look at that another lizard on a rock I tell you, these, uh, these ancient types, man, they're really intelligent. Whoa, what was that? And what do you know? Lizard on a rock. What's this? The lizard gods of old. The Illuminati. They're real. I'm just going to get the full view. Ooh, I can sit in his lap? What? What? He's got no head, man. He's got no head, man. What was that? What? I didn't like that. What was that I've just seen? That was weird. Okay, so my takeaway from that was not a lot. And now I just got turned around in circles. Now I'm lost. Very, very lost. Oh, no. okay, that's that's the answer. I picked the one tunnel that is the entrance which I came out of. Good job. Good job. You're so smart. Come on, baby. There's got to be another one around here. Ah, here we go. These caverns look so cool. If I ever build myself a house, there's not it's not going to be light bulbs. It's going to be crystals. Who's there? Yeah, crystals will light my home. And of course, everybody will think I'm a huge nerd. But anyways, it'll be super cool. Ooh, ooh. What are those? I guess I got a bunch of alien buttons. They have different glyphs on them. Cool. Well, I'm just gonna get out of here now that I've stolen the alien buttons. You'll never be able to button up all your alien shirts. Ooh, what's this? It's another one of those murals. Another axe? For me? Aw, oh, thank you. Or does everybody have one of these? Now I don't feel so special. What an insane discoveries we've made in the short period of time. Even Prof. William Dyer. Shocking revelation. We're not enough to prepare us for this. Seeing really is believing. But those discoveries, they have caused an uproar amongst the crew members, whose assumptions indicate that the fate of the expedition will end in ruin. <gasps> it is just like the ruin. Some serious mental disorders in the prime focus right now. As a temporary solution, we have prohibited this area to the rest of the crew members for it seems most of us are not ready to comprehend such a thing. After surveying the flooded halls 
Stopped at. Trying to read a book here. Trying to read. Don't need interruptions right now. Flooded halls ahead. Our basic diving equipment. It was concluded that it would be better to divide the exploration. Hey! Stop that. Trying to read. You got... No, shut up. Shut up! Okay. You be nice. <laughs> The exploration team into two and carry out the exploration more effectively. According to the latest plan, we'll send one of the two teams with submarines to see if we uh, see if a route exists for us to continue into the depths of the submerged tunnels. And the rest will explore on land. Dr. Morgan C. Blake. Cool. Oh no. The lizard gods are trying to communicate with me. And they're saying blur, blur. not mistaken this relief depicts that the overgrown floor we came across relief doesn't look very reliefing to me tavern, uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device a tool or a talisman where the hell am I gonna find one of those curiously we still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants they seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. <laughs> what other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? I'm guessing they're there for like a defense mechanism for the temple or the tunnels. There's probably like some really cool stuff down here. Like stargates. That uh, people could use. Hey, hey! It was all just an illusion. Planned, my team will continue exploration through this gateway. Other expedition parties can commence when ready. Well, well, well. I think I'm gonna go straight. Damn it! Darn it! It wasn't just an illusion. What if I could use my canarium to go through there? I don't think it works like that, mate. Okay, that's the portal to hell. Good to know. What? Hey, who did that? That was me. I'm standing on a thingy. Cool. Alright, alright, alright. There's gotta be something around here that I can use. It's gotta be around here. It's probably right in the middle of the lake. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Just gonna waltz right over here all uncaringly like there's probably gonna be nothing in the middle of the lake. And there probably isn't. I mean, I'll, I'll be fine. Yeah. No zombies inside. Everything's gonna be okay. <gasps> there is, this, there's something. Give me, give me that. I'm just gonna take this and go. Just gonna take, hey, just gonna take this and go. Just gonna take this and go. Just gonna take this and go. Just gonna, whoa now, whoa now. Good. Whoa. <laughs> it looks like one of those things from Subnautica. One of the alien, I think they're called Reapers or something? I don't know, sure. Man, I'm gonna be ripped after this. Look at all these giant stone coffin tops. I don't know why, but saying coffin tops reminds me of muffin tops. Muffin tops. Muffin tops. There's probably going to be a muffin top. Come on, please be a muffin. I'm so hungry. Ooh, what's this? An ornamental metallic object with the older sign. Oh, so it's not the portal to hell. It's the portal to old. A sign used for protection against powerful entities. Carved in one of its faces. Cow. Is it the back one? Is that one that's got all the carvings? All the wrinkles? Oh, it's just a trophy item. Whoa. Whoa, okay. whoa. Stop that. Stop that. Stop. Shh. Who was this? The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. So, lizards. Taught us how to read and write, I guess. Cool. Let me see what. Let me write that down. Let me copy your homework. Okay. Right on. I'm guessing this is going to be a passcode to something. And I'm thinking that those buttons are going to be for this somehow, in some way. I'm not really sure what way, but it's going to be some way. Get me out of here. Here we go. Let me see if I can find one more coffin. 
I feel like I'm missing something to put the buttons in. But I'm not really sure. Oh, well, I'll come back if I need to. Hey! You be quiet. I'm gonna put the buttons in this thing. But I can't. No, no. What if I can... Ooh. Can I put them in this? Aw, oh, man. Gotta be something around here. Come on, baby. Show me your face. There it is. Yes. Ooh, so I should probably look at that. I think the first one was... No, I'm not even close. I'm gonna have to check. Okay. Documents. Nope. Drawings. There we go. Perfect. So it's one of those thingies. A sun. Two parallels. A jigger. And a squirrely thing. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see if I can remember all that. So, the sun. Boosh. The parallels. Boosh. Um, I think this thing. That one. And then, where's the squirrely thing? I think this was the squirrely thing. They look a little different than they do in the drawing. And then, this one. Okay, I'm gonna try that real quick. Actually, I'm gonna double check, because I think I may have gotten it wrong. Hey, I got it, baby. First try. I mean, <laughs> this is so Indiana Jones. Although it reminds me of the picture of that cat with a tennis ball on its head. Okay, now it's a lot less Indiana Jones, but still cool. All the environments are like so different. I like it. What's going on, dude? What's going on in here? Something, something suspicious is going on it. Oh my god. <sighs> what a handsome devil. That's my third eye. Come on, open it up. For a moment, I thought my reflection in the mirror was about to talk to me. That happens to me a lot too, but then I realize I'm talking. For a moment, I thought I saw a light on my brow. Yeah, me too. I felt a strange crawling sensation in my wrists when I touched this black mirrored surface. And I thought I saw a, a light glowing on my forehead. That's because you did, man. I want to see what moment, else is there. I oh, okay, there's nothing else left. In the mirror was about to talk to me. Can I go in there? Come on, baby, let me in. Let me in. What's the password? For a moment, I... The I password is enlightenment. Ooh, there's another pathway over here. Hey, hey, hey. Quiet guys. I don't know who you are or what you're doing, but you need to relax. Ooh, a tent? A tent underground. This is so awesome looking. Come in, come in. Answer me this time. Can you hear me? Yeah. Loud and clear. Oh, thank God. Yes, I can hear you. Finally. It seems the effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out. So I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Dr. Faust, is that you? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen, I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering, but you must be saved. Use one of the submarines and follow the light. All right. I can do that, but I think first I'm gonna take a nap. Give me this. Give me this. I want it. I want. I don't know what it is. Why not? There's another axe. What is? Why are there so many axes? What are all these? That's the vessel that I used to travel here with. Lots of notes, man. It is possible to assume that due to the volcano activities, the Earth crust, the climate here is humid and the temperature, but we don't know where, uh, exactly what the cause is. 
That theory somehow explains the nature of those small scattered fragments of obsidian along with the cryptic stone, and um, it welcomes you when entering the, uh, the round gate. As men of science who cannot fully grasp most of the phenomena happening all around us, no apparent sign has been left behind, indicating that the true motives of the carvers of these inconceivably old caverns. All I am sure of is that this place holds something strange. Grasping the soil firmly in both hands gives me a rudimentary sensation I cannot translate into words. Something I'm sure no other mortal has perceived. Cool. Where those maze-like tunnels flooded at some point were <laughs> I'm such an idiot pointing in time a uh, point in time where they I cannot read right now at all this was the main topic of debate at last night's meeting and what Dr. Faust hinted at on various occasions cited from the dark leather bound book was too frightening at least for one of those uh, ones of those who could understand the underlying links megalithic statues ornate standing stones and flat areas polished rock we could see that at some points made us think that this place must be a religious temple of complex of some sort. We cannot imagine what it looked like in its former days, for now it lies in ruins. You know how that keeps coming up? The ruins? I think there's a link. Bear without any sign of underwater flora or fauna. Alright, last note. Last one, I swear. We finished tweaking the submarines one last time again, and they're ready to go underwater. This time, we'll also mark the way with light sources to make it easier for our later expeditions. In a short while, all the members of our primary underwater expeditions will be led by Dr. James Barlow, and we'll head for the next destination, which appears to be the mythical entrance to the legendary netherworld. Like I told you, we're going to hell, but I wonder whether... We're looking for something that is not meant to be found. After all, I've experienced red and studded here and the sleepless nights spent discussing the laws of nature and how to bend them. What lies beyond and how to reach a certain state to see more without eyes, even I cannot help but think that this journey may easily lead straight to hell. But we have to go through it all and search for the answers. Dr. Morgan C. Blake. Another flashlight. Cool. Anyways, I think I'm going to end it there. I cannot wait to see what this nether region is going to be. I'll see you on the next one. Adios!